Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video is that time of the month where I show you guys some of the best apps that you can get on your device during this month. So of course, as with every other month, we have 10 apps that I believe every iPhone user must try on their iPhone running iOS 16. Starting things off with private tour browser. This app allows you to defend yourself against tracking and surveillance while browsing online. This is the app right here. On the home screen of the app, you will find the private tour browser as well as the VPN to which you can connect directly from here. Moving into the private browser right here, where you can browse the internet and of course stay safe from trackers, it will block trackers, protect you against tracking and surveillance of any kind on the internet, also encrypt the browsing activities and data and allow you to have access to sites that might be blocked on your country. Now down here you will find a button to switch to the VPN from where you can of course browse securely or you can switch to TorNet which will basically allow you to have access to onion sites and of course TorNet is a more secure option to browse the internet. Moving on into the settings here you will have a lot of options to customize the privacy for the browser so let's go to preferences here and you can find things like on exit settings which allows to automatically delete the history of your browsing once you have exited the app and of course many more you can enable a passcode right here and face id to protect the app and right here you will also have bridge configuration now this is really important because bridge configuration will help users on countries where tor is blocked actually have access to tor and of course use it unlimited now if you want to download this app and all other apps that you will see on this video you can find all the links right down below in the description Notification Note is the next app for the video. Now this is a really interesting app. I really like the idea here. So basically what you're doing is you add your notes here and this app will place them as notifications on your lock screen. So you need to do something during the day, you need to remember something, you will actually have it right here as you can see on your notification center. So we have two different ones from this app. So basically you add a note there, immediately it will be placed as a notification on your lock screen. So you have it there all the time and of course don't miss anything important. Next up is an app called Swiper. This app will allow you to easily clear your photos library. Now most of the time we're taking pictures or screenshots that we might need once or we just want to remove them but don't want to go through all the photos and check whichever ones we want to remove. Well with this app that is made easy. So you will have here all of your photos or you can go to any month and any year from which you have photos on your iPhone. Or you can go to a section for your screenshots only or your videos only. And the way it works pretty simple. You swipe like this to delete one of your photo or of your screenshots actually like this just like that and all of those will be placed right there at the top. Once you're done, you have deleted what you wanted, you just tap that little button right there and you can go ahead and delete those photos as easy as that from your device. The next app for the video will be Croppy. Now Croppy is an extension for Safari. Now how many times you take a screenshot on Safari and you will have to go edit it if you just want to take a screenshot of a part of a website or maybe a picture that's on that website. So let's just say I want this part right here, the picture of these iPhones. Now all I have to do with this extension is go ahead, tap right there and tap on the extension and there we go. Now all I have to do is just highlight this part like this and from here I can go ahead and just tap on save and we're good to go. Here we have the photo that we just actually screenshotted from there and just the part that we needed. You can see right here it actually has a watermark which says that it's a free trial and because the app is free to download and use but it will have that watermark and you will have to pay 99 cents and that's one time payment to get rid of that so it's not actually that expensive. Next up is Geekbench 6. Now Geekbench is a pretty popular app when it comes to testing iOS devices. Of course we have used Geekbench 5 for a long time now and this is the new version which should actually be better and more accurate according to the app. The only thing I don't like about this is that it actually doesn't have a section where it saves all the tests that you have done. So if I just take a test of the current iOS version that I have I have to take actually a screenshot in order to save that and compare it with another test. But actually we should get an update from this app hopefully very soon and hopefully they will include that because that is much needed. 
Next up is Link Notes. Now, Link Notes is an app that allows you to collect your links and save them and organize them so you can easily find any note you want. So we'll have these tabs right here, which basically act as folders for your links. And of course, you can name those based on links from which website or which app you're saving there. And once you go to this app, all you have to do is just tap the link. It immediately opens it on Safari. So add in a link, you just tap the button here, you can add a title and of course the URL right there. And you can create different tabs by tapping there. And of course, edit the tabs by tapping those three buttons. You can change the name or delete the tab from here. Wallaroo is the next app for the video. This is a new wallpaper app that will offer some really cool wallpapers for your device. Now, what I don't like about this app is that it actually has a lot of wallpapers locked, which means that you will have to pay a premium subscription in order to view those and download those. So most of them are actually locked, as you can see right here. Otherwise, the wallpapers are really, really great. Tapping right there at the top, you will be able to switch between different categories or go to your favorite wallpapers, which makes that, of course, very, very easy browsing the wallpapers and finding the wallpapers that you need. And once you have found a wallpaper that you want, you can see right here, you can see like different versions of a wallpaper if those are available. And then you tap that little share button and save the image from here. You can also set up a I actually take a look at how it looks on the lock screen or home screen and of course even go ahead and set up a shortcut from here which will be downloaded from the app in order to automatically set a wallpaper from this app. No Crop is the next app for the video. Now this is a simple app that will allow you to post your photos without having to crop them. You load any photo you want from your camera roll and then you will have here different formats. Basically, you can have like different formats for different social media. So you will have here YouTube, maybe Twitter, you have Pinterest here and of course Instagram. So you choose each of them and you can choose what you show on the background of a, of a photo there that you don't want to crop. You can show a blurred version of that photo or just any solid color you want. The next app for the video is called A Blank. This app allows to have blank spaces on the home screen of your iPhone. The way it works, simply head on to your home screen, go to the edit mode and swipe to the last page where there are actually no icons at all. And from here, once you have done that, you go back into the app and just load that screenshot from the camera roll. Now, once you have done that, you're good to go. Now, what you can do is head onto your home screen and add widgets from this app. So here, what I can do now is add one of these widgets. So let's say I wanna have the top there just cleared without anything. I can just go ahead and add this widget and you can see now I have the icons right here at the bottom. Now, of course, when you wanna change the position in which you have placed that widget in order to actually correspond with the wallpaper, tap on edit and choose the position of the widget and you're good to go. And last but not least is Island Wallpapers, another wallpaper app that allows us to create wallpapers for your Dynamic Island device. So you will have here Dynamic Island Wallpapers, which are actually really cool. And you can see how good they look on the device here. And you can also do them yourself. So if you go to one of these wallpapers, you can select it and you can have like different things right there on the Dynamic Island. You can see how cool that looks. You can basically add all of these things and make the dynamic island look really, really interesting. Now you can also add your own photo from here, of course, from your camera roll, and then add those overlays for the dynamic island. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more. If you want to download any of these apps, make sure to check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.